to Rope Coaching's YouTube channel and we're going to continue on footwork today specifically looking at heel hooks. We'll look at the common errors people make, how to correct them and how to feel more confident when you place your heels. As always we're going to look at what is considered to be bad or poor technique when specifically heel hooking to begin with and I'm going to be using this green as a demonstration because it's big, you'll feel confident using that as a beginner but I'm also going to use different hand holes just to make it easy to show this demonstration. But typically when people place a heel, they just throw their foot up with no understanding of how to do it. So I'll just demonstrate really quickly and they'll place it front on like that. And then they go to pull and it pulls the heel straight off. Super common, we see videos like this all the time. I'll do that again. So you're placing the foot and you're just clumping up. And then they go to pull and you can see my knee goes closer, it cams my toe against the wall and it pulls my heel off. That's one way. The other way, which is slightly more subtle, and I'll use this orange to demonstrate, is when people place their heel, they may have a bit better understanding, but they'll place it like this. They're pulling down. My force right now is coming straight down. But as I pull higher, my knee's gonna go closer. Again, that cams your toe in and pulls your heel off. It's just the mechanics of our leg. I'll show you that again. So I'll place the heel high, and I'm gonna focus on pulling down through the hold. As I crank in, my knee goes closer, my toes go closer, and it pulls the heel straight off. I must see 20 videos of people doing this a week, and it's really a very common error, which we're gonna to address today. So we've looked at kind of some bad techniques of placing a heel. We've also got to understand the purpose of a heel hook. And there's a few. There's a heel that, for example, you replace a limb for a limb. So again, I'll make it up, but in this scenario on the yellow, I've got my hand in, I'm gonna place a heel, and I'm gonna move off it. That's one way. Another way is, for example, commonly on an erect, where you'll use it to keep your body in a very static position. Again, replacing typically a limb for a limb to create a static position. And the others could be more of a rock over. So I want to gain height. So uh, for example, on this pink, I could place the heel and then weight it and stand up. So three different kind of approaches to a heel hook. Again, a really common flaw with all of them is the angle or directional force that people are applying. So on this pink, for example, again, I'm using different handholds, but they'll place it, and as their knee goes closer to the wall, which is natural as I'm going higher, the, the heel gets pulled off because the toes are getting pushed in, and it literally just cams the heel off the hold. So we've looked at those applications. Same thing with the erect. When people crank on the heel, they'll be turning their hips, and that's gonna change the direction of force. Rather than pulling into the wall, they now pull towards themselves, and the heel will just slip. We're gonna look at how to correct all of that now. Cool, so one of the important uh, factors we're gonna look at now is how to apply that directional force through the, through the, the foothold. We, when we talk about hands, we're on that 90 degree action to maximize friction, minimize energy. Uh, with a foothold, it's slightly different. Most people focus on just pulling straight down, a bit like my fingers are here. However, as we've seen, what happens is your toes can cam as your knees get closer, and it can pull your heel away. So we actually need to focus a lot of the time at 45 degrees. There are some exceptions which we'll go through. So I'm gonna use this white and this orange as an example of how to place them correctly and you'll see the differences. Let's look at the white one first. So as I'm placing a heel, I actually want to come in almost with the outside edge of my foot. I'm focused really on pulling with my hamstring into and down. So as I crank higher, my knee, goes, my knee gets closer, but my, you can see my toes are still away from the wall. So I'm still pulling in, I still have a lot of security. I can really relax my hands if I'm just using it as a hooking point, or I can rock over on it, and again, my heel is wedged in. On the flip side, just to show you again, if I place that just pulling down, I do that exact same move, it's gonna be camming, and I've got this insecurity, which obviously this footwork is all about. We want security, we want trust. So you have to apply the pressure in towards the wall and downwards into the hold as well. So we've used massively forgiving holds. Let's use something that's more common when we see these slips, is this smaller pink. Again, I'm gonna use different hand holds, but if I place it, just pulling straight down and I move off it, no hope. 
I'm going to slip off immediately. So I'm going to place that outside edge, and focus on pulling inwards and downwards. Same move, I'm actually going to try as well. So I'm placing that outside edge, I'm really going to weight it, and then I'm going to move off. And you can see that even with this foot swinging around, which wasn't supposed to, I've still got weight going through the hold. Let's look at that in a little bit more detail. So I'm going to place this heel on the outside edge. So then as I crank higher, you can see that my leg is going closer to the ball, but my heel is still wedged and I've still got a lot of force going through that hold. Cool, so Alex is going to climb this yellow and she's not going to preempt placing the heel. So when she reaches back now, she's going to go to place the heel, but classically her hand is going to be in the way. So either have to do lots of adjustments or try to kind of place it around the hand and then obviously can't gain that trust. Lots of energy spent and then she can move off it. So now Alex is going to climb this yellow in good form, preempting the fact that her heel is going to place. So you can see that as she makes this next move she'll adjust her right hand so that she leaves the space and then she's going to place her heel pulling inwards and downwards so that she can move off it. Perfect. This also demonstrates a really good rock over on the hill. So she placed it so that she could preempt the rock over. So a really important point to make about heel hook is where you place it in relation to the hand. So you may have preempted where, as in you're gonna leave space to place it, but often people place it below their hand and they can't see what they're doing. So we're gonna just kind of show you that demonstration of what happens when it's below and then an ideal scenario where you can see it so it's closer to you. So for example, I may have made this move, let's do this, my hand, and if I were to place it below, I can't really see where the end of the hold is, so I can kind of feel, but I haven't got the trust, whereas if I bump my hand low and then place it above, then I know exactly where it is, and I can have that trust, having seen where to place it. So ideally, it's not always the scenario because the hold may dictate it, but ideally you really watch where you're placing it and you leave that space to go above your hand because you always know where the end point of the hold is. Again, we're gonna create this simulation here, but another point to make is when people do a heel hook featuring a rock over, when they're gonna come into a position, bring their hips above the hold and move off, sometimes you have to anticipate rocking over onto the heel. So for example, on this green, if I were to use this foothold and I need to rock over onto it, I need to end onto the heel so I'm here before I move off. And that means I'm gonna place it initially towards me, not in an ideal position and rock over onto it. So again, if you stay close and I'm gonna place it towards me but then rock over onto the base of my heel before moving off. And that gives me good security. However, if I don't anticipate that and I'm gonna place it here, rock over onto it, it slips right off the far end. And that's a really common error people make is they don't anticipate rolling onto the heel. So I could be low, I could place it, and it feels really good here, but then when I rock over, it's gonna slide straight off that hold. I'll place it correctly one more time. So I'm gonna place it initially in a poor position, but I'm rocking over onto it. So it's gonna give me great security and I'm all of my weight is gonna go onto that heel. It's a really important point to make is preempting the move. What's the purpose of the heel? And if you are gonna rock over onto it, always leave that space so that you're rocking onto the flattest part to give you that security. I hope you've enjoyed this video on heel hooking. It's such a common and important technique to feel confident with. If you have, click like and subscribe and stay tuned for more content.